Hey guys, welcome to my brand new channel, Mark Markets. It's all about the stock market. We're going to talk about trading and whatnot. If you don't know me, it's Rob Guilty. I normally talk about uh, property investments and real estate on my other channels and also cars on another channel. This is a brand new channel. This channel is only going to talk about uh, trading and the stock market because it's for the love of that. I've been doing this for years and it's just something I thought it's about time I get out there. It's something I like to do. And since we're here, let's do it. Okay. So what I want to talk to you about today is what's happened in the last week, what's going to happen next week. Um, <laughs> it's been quite a boost. I mean, the S&P burst through the 4,000 mark. Wow. Imagine that. Eh? Absolutely brilliant. It took them. It was knocking on it, knocking on it, knocking on it. And eventually it went through. That's absolutely brilliant. But guys, let's get to it. Let's go and take the charts out and uh, then we'll take it from there. So uh, as I discussed in the beginning, we're just going to talk about the markets this week and uh, what happened last week and what's going on. So I'm going to start with the American market, the S&P. Um, look at what happened here. It broke through the 4,000. It's on 4,030, which is absolutely amazing. Look at this long-term chart here. It's quite incredible. Um, this is a one. This is a daily chart and. Uh, this is over a period of around six months and it's just going straight up and if you look at this chart over five years you won't believe how she's going up but um, you know I started a demo account last week just to play around and I made just on the S&P and a couple of other shares uh, in the region of 40% in a month which is unheard of it's unbelievable how this thing has climbed um, I always advocate as I said before keep it simple don't go crazy so you'll see that on my charts i only keep the volume and i only keep a, a stochastic rsi that's all i need and uh, you'll see here a moving average it's a 20-day moving average and i basically look at my supports so uh, there's my support line there running up you can look at straight lines as well don't don't forget you can always look at the straight lines as well just so you, know, you guys keep an idea but look at this straight up green bars all the way it's been fantastic so I'm actually waiting for more entry points and more opportunities on this one because as you can see the stochastic RSI is right at the top now is not the time to buy I actually suspect that next week this might retract a little bit come down we might get a correction um, hopefully down to a reasonable area so that we can get opportunities at the bottom to purchase in again because these are your purchase points at the bottom you can see that quite clearly and over here you know you can see the clear correlation to your stochastic RSI and then when it goes up the correlation to it correcting so we should have a correction pretty soon in this area it's been trying to get through the 4000 and that's been the most important thing for it um, looking at the other shares I mean there really isn't a lot going on at the moment if you look at Aspen for example is another example of but there's a little bit of a tail there but another example of a huge pull up and uh, everything is at the top so there's not much opportunity to buy there is opportunity to short here uh, but you know you, you trend is your friend and the trend on this is actually up at the moment so probably not a great idea to be to be uh, sort of trading these things short at the moment um, if I look at an ABI, ABI InBev, uh, the alcohol uh, this has come down quite nicely. I think we'll we'll obviously wait until she's at the bottom here, and uh, this is looking good for a trade very soon. So hopefully next week we can get into uh, to ABI, A and H as they call it, Anheuser. Okay, it's uh, SA Breweries bought into this company way back and uh, it became Anheuser Busch InBev. Call it InBev, right? But uh, really nice. Uh, the only problem with this one is if you look at the five year trend, there's a bit of a downtrend on it. And uh, also, uh, it's got a very high PE ratio, so be careful of that. So, if you are trading this, trade it short term, trade it for the quick one. So, if you can grab it at the bottom like that, grab a quick run up, that's great. 
This one you can actually short if you need to at, at any particular time, but not right now. Um, I'm actually waiting for a long trade on this. Probably next week, that's probably where we're going to go with it. Uh, let's see what else we've got here that we can talk about. Uh, Mr. Price, I love shorting this one. <laughs> this is my favorite short. I've shorted this one a few times and it makes me money. So um, she's quite high at the moment, so we might look to short this next week and see where we come out. Let's check that out. This is looking like a really good short. Um, further than that, guys, there's not much going on. This JSE trade, I'm waiting for a long trade on that. But she's sitting in the middle on the stochastic, even though she's low, but 110 is a good buy on this one. So I'm waiting for it to come down nicely. That'll be a nice little purchase on that one. And uh, Capital and Counties is kind of like not much going on here either. It's just dead. So it's quite a quiet week, guys. Um, not much going on. I'm hoping we'll have a, a better week next week. I mean, it has been hectic. Everything's gone straight up on the S&P, but there's not much to buy at the moment. You're waiting for something to buy. Everything is effectively for sale. ShopRite, I'm waiting for this one to come down into a buying range. This will be a nice buy as well when it gets down here. You've got to wait for these things to be in place, and you've got to be patient. Like I said in the beginning, you've got to be, you've got to be patient, and you've got to keep it simple. Don't get... Um, don't get excited and don't rush into it. The banks, um, here's APSA. Let's have a look at the APSA. APSA is also in the middle. There's nothing There's nothing to buy at the moment. So, guys, this week we're not buying anything until it's in place. Hopefully next week it'll come into place and there'll be something worth jumping into. But at the moment, nothing worth jumping into. BTI, this one's... Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. This one's going to be lovely next week. Look at that. 549. She's right down. This one might be a buy next week. Guys, keep an eye out for BTI. Um, this one, you've got to use the straight support lines. You can't really use the the, 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 the angled ones. So um, as you can, you can see here, this is, this is where your support is down here. She's quite low at about 520, but I mean, I'm sure you can buy this one in at about 530, somewhere there she's going to turn. And you'll get a nice run up to about 570 maybe. Yeah, this is this is a goodie. This is a nice one. So definitely keep your eyes open for British American Tobacco. That's looking quite good. I know it's not the best show on earth, but it looks like a decent trade. It's trading within this range. You can see it staying in this range, which is absolutely amazing. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, I think I'll come back next week and we'll have another look. Um, the SNP has been absolutely amazing. This is this has been the, the, the wiki. It's made a fortune. I'm really hoping that it'll just come back a little bit and we can get more opportunities to buy into this one because the way it stands at the moment, you're not going to get a 33% run back now unless we have a world war or something. So if we can just get one of these little pullbacks, that'll be great. So this one might pull back to about 3.9. 3880. That'll be great. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Eh? <laughs> I hope you enjoy that. That's our first video on trading, mark markets, and uh, it's for the love of trading. Eh? Let's go for it. Happy trading week, guys. Enjoy. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, go down to the description, get some of those uh, books that are all about the stock market. If you're starting out, it'll help you get in there. It'll help you understand what's happening and what have you. I um, hope everything's uh, great for this first video on, on this channel. <laughs> Let's see how we go. It's a new channel. I'm putting it out there to you guys. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed that because you're going to get all the information every week. Let's have a discussion. Let Put your stuff in the comments. Tell us what you're training, what you're doing, and all the rest of it. It's always great to, to, to find out. Till next time, guys. Rob Guilty. Cheers.